Hey there Aries and welcome back to Unicorn Tarot for your monthly reading. This is going to be a reading for the month of March and we're going to take a look at your past, present, and near future energies. Also Aries, if this reading resonates and you'd like to book a personal reading, all the information about how to do that is in the description box below. And of course if you enjoy what I do and want to say thank you, donation link is also below and any and every amount is greatly appreciated. Lastly, Aries, if you enjoy readings, make sure to subscribe to my email list. It's in the description box. I send out new readings, extended readings every Monday just for my email list. You cannot get these readings anywhere else on any of my social media platforms, and it's completely free. Okay, main energy for your reading this month is the hanged man. Bottom of the deck, you get the empress. There is somebody very significant, very important, very meaningful to you um, showing up here, but things are stuck. Things are not moving. Now, I don't know if you're keeping things stuck on purpose. Um, so if you're the one that's taking the action to not move, not budge, this could be your person's energy or the universe is just like, hey, we're not budging. We're not moving because Aries needs to realize or get something here. Um, this reading applies to all signs. Um, some of you may be dealing with a Taurus, though, and the numbers that I'm seeing are 3, 12, um, 16, 1, and 20. So I don't know if those numbers mean anything to you. In the recent past, you get the King of Swords, the Five of Wands, and the Knight of Wands. There is a little bit of an internal conflict for you here, because on the one hand, in the recent past, you're trying to be very logical and very practical about how you should approach things, how you should move forward, what you should do with this person, you know, all of that. On the other hand, you are so drawn to them. You're so pulled in their direction. You're almost like a moth to a flame where you can't resist them. You can't resist their energy. Like you literally cannot get enough of this person. It's like more, 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 more. Um, and so your heart, is telling you one thing, your head is telling you another thing, and you're kind of torn in the middle here. <clears throat> in the current situation, you get the tower, the magician, the star man in this deck, and the two of cups. You've been manifesting this connection. You've been manifesting this love, this relationship, like it's the two of cups. It's you and this person. And this is what you've wanted. But something is not stable here. Something in the foundation is cracked. It's not stable. And it's like as much as you've wanted this, right? Excuse me. The foundation between you and this person or within this connection is not stable. And we'll see why when we clarify. In the near future, you get the seven of swords, the judgment, and the nine of cups. <clears throat> You're, you need to make a decision here in the near future. And this decision has a lot to do with your emotional stability, your emotional fulfillment but you're kind of waffling back and forth about making this decision. Some days you're like, okay, I'm going to do this. And then you're like, no, 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 no. And okay, I'm going to do that. No, 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 no. Let me think about this some more. There's a lot of back and forth here for you with regards to whatever this decision is. So let's clarify. Let's start off with the hanged man, which is the main energy for your reading. There you are. Hangman is clarified by the emperor, which is you, the two of wands and the ten of wands. Things are stuck for you. Something is not moving. Something is not budging. And you're showing me like I'm waiting. I'm waiting for things to move. I'm waiting for things to, for the ball to get rolling, you know, for things to happen. And they're not. It's just stuck. And that is weighing so, so heavily on you. You get the eight of swords at the bottom of the deck. You're spending a lot of time thinking, 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 thinking. Like, why is it not working? Why is it not happening? Why are things stuck? Why is this not, you know, moving? Um, it's really very difficult for you, the fact that the energies are stuck, that nothing's happening, nothing's moving, and it's stressing you out a little bit as well. So let's look at the recent past, start off with the King of Swords and the recent past. King of Swords is clarified by the Three of Swords, the Knight of Cups, and the Nine of Pentacles. There's a lot of emotional pain here in the recent past showing up for you. And what you're doing is you're trying to like logic your way through it. So essentially you, you feel this pain, you feel this heartbreak because you still have love for this person. And I feel like some of you may have even tried expressing your emotions to this person, like letting them know, hey, I still love you. I still care about you, but you're heartbroken here. And so your brain, your logical side is like, oh, Aries, forget the feelings. Just focus on yourself. Focus on your, you know, your needs here in the 3D world. So that could be shopping sprees. That could be diving into work. That could be doing like the practical things here in the 3D world to make yourself feel better. But you're not actually working through the emotions, working through the pain, working through the heartbreak. You're just kind of like 
you know, not glossing over them, but more so like thinking your way through them. You know, I'm, I'm doing all the things that I'm supposed to do to get over this pain, to forget this person, to, you know, get over this emotional pain, but you're not actually dealing with the emotions. You're just like doing what you think you should do. Let's look at the five of wands in the recent past. Five of wands is clarified by the nine of cups, which you get again in the near future, the star and the eight of wands. You're a little bit conflicted here as to what you want. So the universe is showing you essentially you've got two paths. One, it could be your emotional fulfillment, your emotional stability that goes this way. The other one is communication. Communication with this person, communicating in this connection, that goes this way. You can't have both. They're mutually exclusive for some reason. Um, and again, this could be your perception as well, where it's like you can either be emotionally stable and emotionally fulfilled, or you can talk to this person. You can't have both at the same time. And the universe is showing me like, you don't know which one you want. You don't know which one you truly desire more. This isn't a game for you. This isn't like you trying to like pull one over on the universe. You are genuinely unsure as to like, do I want me or do I want this person? Let's look at the Knight of Wands in the recent past. Knight of Wands is clarified by the Justice, the Eight of Swords, and the Six of Pentacles. This person that you're dealing with, they have a lot of inconsistencies in their behavior. That stresses you out. That kind of throws you off balance because you're showing me like when things are good between us, when there's a flow, when there's equal give and take, like, you know, the amount of effort that I put into this connection I receive, things are good. That's your definition of balance. Like literally imagine it's like a scale that's balanced for you. But the fact that this person doesn't always come in and give 50%, like it doesn't always come in and match your energy. Sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. They're very inconsistent and very hot and cold. That stresses you out and that throws you off balance. And I do see you spending a lot of time in your head trying to think and think and figure out like, why are they like this? Why are they inconsistent? Is it something I'm doing? What are they doing? You know, um, there's a lot of mental energy devoted here to why this person's being inconsistent, how you can make them more consistent, um, if at all, right? And so that's kind of weighing on you here in the recent past. Let's look at the tower in the current situation. Tower is clarified by the Four of Swords, the Ten of Cups, and the Six of Cups. I like it because something's got to give. And what's giving in this connection right now is healing. Um, remember how I said that something is not stable in this connection? It seems like whatever is cracking, it's not in the foundation between you and this person, but rather in this person's armor, this person's guard, this person's walls. Um, somebody here is kind of like breaking down the walls and focused on healing. They want to heal this connection because it's a soul connection, right? It's a divine connection. They truly want to come in and heal. And they're showing me the reason I want to do this is not for any selfish motive. The thought of being able to heal this connection, the thought of being able to fix this and be in a soul connection genuinely makes this person so, so happy. The 10 of cups is one of the happiest cards in the entire tarot deck. And it's like, that's what this person wants to do right now. Now I say wants to do because I don't see the action being taken yet. I see it almost like, them realizing this, but I don't know if they're actually going to do anything about it, whether this is you or your person. Let's take a look at the magician in the current situation. Magician is clarified by the Empress, the Page of Wands, and the Ace of Cups, and you get the King of Swords at the bottom of the deck. Um, you've manifested this. You've manifested this person, because remember, you got the Empress at the bottom of this deck, too. This person is like the best thing since sliced bread as far as you're concerned. They are your person. Like you couldn't have built them better in a factory in terms of like how perfect they are for you. And you're showing me what I'm manifesting is just something happening. Not even like something grandiose, something major, like, you know, oh my gosh, I love you. You're the love of my life. Like, you know, you're not even manifesting that. You're just manifesting something, some sort of movement, something happening that will lead you and this person back in the direction of having a new beginning in love. But again, the main energy for your reading is the hangman, which is letting me know, especially because you're still manifesting it, it hasn't happened yet in the current situation. It's all still very much a desire to have something happen, to have something move, to have something shift, even a little bit. 
Let's take a look at the Two of Cups in the current situation. Two of Cups is clarified by the Nine of Swords, the Knight of Swords, and the Five of Swords. In the bottom of the deck, you get the King of Cups. You love this person very, very much, and you are really... There's a lot of anxiety for you surrounding why nothing is happening. Like, why are they not making a move? You're genuinely not sure why this person hasn't done something yet, why they haven't reached out, why they haven't texted, why they haven't communicated. It's like you're starting to question like yourself, like, okay, I love them, but how do they actually feel about me? I think they love me. I think this is a soul connection. I think they want me back, but do they actually? And the reason you're doubting it and you're questioning it is because nothing is happening. Nothing is moving. And you're showing me like, I don't feel like I'm the one that needs to make the move, but you're starting to question and ask, maybe I should make a move. Maybe if I get the ball rolling, even though the responsibility is not on me, right? I don't need to be the one to make a move here. But maybe if I just do something, this will get the energy moving. And the universe is showing me that that is complete BS because for some reason, you, you know you're not the one to make a move. Like it's not on you to take action. It's on your person to take action. But because they're not doing anything and you being the go-getter that you are, you're like, okay, I'll just do it. I'll just make something happen. Like I'll get the ball rolling. That does not seem like the aligned action for you in the current situation because you're showing me like, I know that this is not what I need to do. I know that this doesn't make sense for me to do it. But there's almost like this place or this energy of desperation of like, I'll just do anything just to get the ball rolling, just to have something happen. Let's take a look at the near future. I want to see the Seven of Swords. Seven of Swords is clarified by the Seven of Swords again, the Temperance and the World. You're starting to doubt and question whether or not this is actually over. It's been so long since anything has happened. The energies have been stuck for so long. Nothing has shifted. Nothing is moving. And you're showing me like I'm starting to genuinely not trust that anything is going to happen. Maybe I'm just Lulu. Maybe this connection is actually over. And I just need to like accept that. I just need to start realizing that. Um, this is your fear talking. It's 100% your fear because nothing has shifted. Nothing here in the 3D world has happened. And so you're literally sitting there and you're like, okay, well, nothing has happened in so long. That means it must be over. You don't feel like that's the case, but your brain is kind of like, you know, one plus one equals two. Like what other conclusion am I supposed to come to or get to here in the near future? Let's take a look at the judgment in the near future. Judgment is clarified by the Eight of Cups, the Judgment, the Five of Cups. You're making a decision to emotionally disconnect, to emotionally detach here. Um, the past, right, the good, the bad, the ugly, everything that happened between you and this person in the past, it's too heavy for you. It's too difficult for you, especially the love that you still have for them in the near future. It's weighing on you too much. And so you're showing me I'm making this decision instead of like living in Delulu land, instead of waiting for something to happen. I'm deciding to emotionally disconnect. And this is a pretty big decision because you're showing me the judgment twice. Let's look at the nine of cups in the near future. Nine of cups is clarified by the queen of wands, the hierophant, and the seven of cups. You're showing me that you're focused on your emotional stability and your emotional fulfillment in the near future. And it does work. You are kind of elevating your energies in the near future by deciding to emotionally detach. But this connection is still in the back burner. And that kind of throws you for a loop. You're kind of like, I thought I'd be over this at this point. Like, what else do I have to do to stop having this emotional attachment, even if it's small, to this connection? Like, why do I still feel these feelings? Why do I still want this? Why do I still miss this? Right? Um, and I'll say it takes time, Aries. It takes time. Let's take a look at what the universe wants you to keep in mind this month. From the universe, you get the Four of Cups, the Queen of Swords, and the Four of Pentacles. Four and four. You're trying to emotionally disconnect. You're trying to emotionally detach, right, by using logic and essentially shutting your feelings off. The thing is, though, is it's not making you happier. You've, you're showing me like, okay, I thought that I should just like, you know, detach, disconnect, and then I won't feel anything, and then it won't hurt. All you're left with, even after you turn your feelings off, is you feeling closed off, being closed off energetically, and just disappointed. So yeah, you're not heartbroken, you're not unhappy, you're just disappointed. It's just like meh, meh energies, you know? Um, but Aries, that is what I have for you. I hope this reading helped. If it did, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe, and I'll see you here on the next one.